Yo, what is up guys? Eduardo here for another video and today we are going to be talking about depth of field and most importantly the differences between shallow depth of field and deep depth of field. So, uh... So in filmmaking and photography, you are going to come across the term depth of field. And if you know what it means and know when to talk about it and when to bring it up, it is a great way to show that you are, you know, that you know your sh So what is depth of field? Well, depth of field is the distance between the nearest and furthest objects that give an image judged to be in focus. Now I like to think of depth of field that it mainly refers to an area in focus. Now that area of focus can be either really small or it can be really big. And that's what we're going to jump into next. The two different categories that depth of field gets broken down into. Well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? You want to know how I got them? The first one we have up is shallow depth of field. Now shallow depth of field is when you have a small area in focus. That is why whenever you put a subject in front of your camera, everything around it goes out of focus, becomes blurry. Now some examples of shallow depth of field are sports photography, portrait shots, macro shots. And of course with interviews, you see this a lot. It is a great way to bring attention to your subject while blurring out and putting everything in its environment out of focus. Now that's a good thing to keep in mind that with shallow depth of field, it is a great way to add subject separation into your videos or pictures because it pretty much eliminates the surroundings, the environment of your main subject that's in focus. And it's a great way to bring your audience's attention to that one object. Now with deep depth of field, as you can imagine, deep, opposite of shallow. With this one, you pretty much get everything in your image, in your frame, is in focus or acceptable focus. And with this one, you pretty much see it all the time in nature videos with documentaries such as Planet Earth, when you have the bird's eye view of the mountains, the jungles, deserts. Now with deep depth of field, it is a great way to have your audience be immersed in whatever it is that they are seeing on screen. And that is because everything on screen would be in focus. The closest thing to the camera to the farthest thing from the lens would be in reasonable focus and it is a great way to, for your audience to just look around and see every bit of detail in the frame. As opposed to shallow depth of field which pretty much pushes the audience to focus on just one thing at a time, with deep depth of field they are able to see everything at once. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for my video here today. If you enjoyed it and you liked it, go ahead and give me that thumbs up and like the video and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm going to be putting out more videos weekly focusing on cinematography and photography equipment, reviews. I'm going to be vlogging more so go ahead and stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, again, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya.